Shreya from Team Mooncat, and this is my entry for the Judy Competition Mission Artemis. Here is my badge. Today, we are going to choose a suit and design a path to explore the moon. Here is some research we did on important factors for spacesuits. They must have oxygen. Humans can still breathe in 1 to 2 psi oxygen. They must have a good helmet. It has to protect you but still let you see. You have to have the ability to move easily but still have enough protection. You must have communication with, of some sort with NASA. And you must have food, drink, waste disposal, and temperature control. Here is the suit choice. You can calculate the oxygen time by doing the initial PSI divided by the rate of the loss. So the initial PSI is 150 for spacesuit 1, and the rate of the loss is 12. So 150 divided by 12 is about 12.5, which is 12 hours and 30 minutes. Similarly, for spacesuit 2 and 3, you get 11 hours, 20 minutes, and 11 hours. Other things about the spacesuits are spacesuit 1 has reliable communication, but it is harder to move around. Spacesuit number 2, you can look really far away, but you lose all communication with the NASA scientists. Spacesuit number three, you have a built-in repair kit and average communication. We chose spacesuit three because there really isn't any downsides. Plus, you might need a repair kit out there and stuff might get broken. Now let's design the exploration path. The speed we can go is 0.5 miles per hour, and with the spacesuit we chose, we get 11 hours. So we get 5.5 miles to go. Some design goals are we should walk as long as possible within the oxygen allowed, we have to cover as large as an area as possible, extra time to make repairs if needed, and if oxygen is running out, we have to be able to return quickly to base. This is my path, the cat cupcake. We start near the center so we can easily get back if oxygen runs out. We initially tried a Pac-Man shape, but the equations were getting complex and the paths were longer than 11 hours, which is 5.5 miles. So I drew pictures with straight lines, kind of like trying to draw a square Pac-Man, and they look like cats. Dad told me a special fact about right triangles is the angle 30 degrees. The smaller side is always half the diagonal. So if you look at the triangle in the corner, if the tip was 30 degrees and the diagonal side was one mile, then the bottom would be half a mile because it's half of the diagonal. So a path with 30 degree segments is easy to measure. The moon cat cupcake path in detail. The astronaut speed is 0.5 miles per hour. Each 0.5 mile segment takes one hour. Each one mile segment takes two hours. The total path covers five miles, which is 10 hours. There is an extra one hour that allows time to make repairs. And this is the cat going around the path. Repairs and shortcuts to base. We have a one hour reserve oxygen to make repairs. While we have reserve oxygen, we stay on the path. If reserve oxygen runs out, we cut through the path and go directly to base. As you can see here, if we're at the base, we have 10 hours on the path, 1 hour in reserve, and 0 hours to base. If we were here, we'd have 7 hours still on the path. The red arrow shows the shortcut, so there'd be 2 hours back to base taking a shortcut, and 1 hour in reserve. If you were here, say you wanted to take a half an hour repair, something was broken, then you would have half an hour still in reserve, four hours left on the path, and 1.7 hours to base to the red shortcut. If you were here, you'd have one hour left on the path, half an hour still in reserve, and one hour to base, because there is no shortcuts when you're up there. Thank you for watching!